Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple, one of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe, some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Yo, what's up everyone? Piri, and this is Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, we just watched the intro there, and it um, told us a lot about the story. I mean, I never played, well, I played the first one, and I played the second one, but I never finished them. So it's told me a lot about what's going on. Um, is that it? Is it just a, a truck drive? Alright, whatever. But yeah, we're going, I don't know. Looks like we're another video. No? But yeah, I know it's set in the like, Civil War times or whatever. We're here, so should be pretty interesting. I never like the reason I never finished the first like the first two. I don't know. Well, the second one I don't know why I didn't finish that one, but the first one it wasn't my game, so I never got a chance to play it that much. But yeah. I figured I'd try and play this for. I, I don't know. I, just get, Let's go. I can never stick to finishing it, but I figured this time if I record it, you know, and do it as a let's play, then I'll. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to finish it then, hopefully. Can we not run? Let's. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Ah, everyone's got a car yet, something but me. I don't see why uh, she's carrying it. I guess I carry it instead, but whatever. What's this? Oh, it's the apple. No one said anything. It's just, yeah, it's just normal. 
I even got a surprise look on his face once. Unless he's already done it before, unless he already knows what this does, because maybe he does. I've never played the dick in previous games, so I wouldn't know. Uh, is it a door? In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Crush them. I'll leave him with a mock toss like that. I don't know. Alright. It's too dark. Can't see. Can I get the, like, the torch out? What the hell? Why does it just keep skipping ahead? I don't get it. Unless this has like happened and it's the part. I don't know. This is annoying. I'm walking forward and boop. Somewhere else. I think we're here. Uh, oh wait, is he running? Drop my can I pick that up? I need that. I need it. Give it me it's the ah oh, whatever. They always start off kinda of slow these the Assassin's Creed games. Are they coming? No. Okay, I'll go by myself. It's okay. Oh, I can run. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to run. Let's see. Oh, wait, there's an animal. I see it. Who made this? Who put it here? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Made out of stone. But to get across, you gotta go in the animus. I don't know. The Somebody. Key. You must find the key. Yeah, probably. Son. Sir. Why has he got a, a hat on now? <sighs> we didn't have a hat on before, did he? Desmond? Yeah. Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What, what happened? happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? Yeah. You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? What's going on? Juno, Dad. She's... talking to me. What the hell? Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. Okay. All right. It's like what a do you tutorial. need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Easy mode. We get to do some combat training. 
or whatever. Can you jump that high? Oh, you can. And you gotta go over here. Oh, fuck. Almost dead. I didn't even. He just. He just like hit the. He's like, oh, jump into the wall. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, I don't know how to do it, like, without... Oh, there we See, you that time, I don't even... I was pressing that button. Doesn't make any sense. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. Easy. Alright. Can you skip this? Well, I guess not. I bet I best should, actually, because I, I might not remember even. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Des, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Oh, X is square, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, can I get back over there? Okay. I don't know if I have to, but I'm gonna go do this anyway because it's be cool. Come on, get up, get up, alright. I'll screw you. I'll just go behind him and Let's do that, yeah, okay. No, jump, ah, oh, come on. No, don't turn around. How do I, how do I start going forward? Oh, I have to press RT, okay. How do I? I don't know. It doesn't <laughs> jump. Okay, cool. That's exactly what I wanted to do. God damn it. Well, at least I know circle is drop. Right, it says it right there at the side, but whatever. <laughs> Alright. I press square or X. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Easy. Oh god, I don't know, no, no. Wait, do I jump like that way? Over there? Or yeah. More jumping around. I don't see why he does all this, I don't really need it. I've done loads. I've done enough jumping. I think I, I think I've got the hang of it now. Synchronization levels look good now. You should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. I'm. I look. I look classy as fuck. Look, look at that shit. 